So this is gonna be a quick update on Boxer. If you haven't watched my video about DOSBox on Apple Silicon, I will put the link to that video in the description. Basically, one of the conclusions was that Boxer was the best DOSBox fork to use on an Apple Silicon Mac. However, there are two main problems with Boxer for my usage. One is that it crashes when you close the DOS prompt after running a DOS application. In that comparison video, I provided the patch to address that issue. The other problem is that Boxer doesn't expose its default configuration file. Instead, it manages different games or applications using the concept of game boxes. Each game box has a separate configuration file and file system hierarchy. It's a neat concept, but in my case, I want to have a consolidated default environment just like any other DOS box works. The feature I wanted the most was to be able to automatically run a few commands when the DOS prompt starts so that I don't have to manually mount the C drive every time I launch Boxer. So I forked the Boxer fork, which is a fork of the original Boxer, which is a fork of DOSBox. I know, it's a lot of forks down the chain, but this fork allows me to quickly address the two aforementioned problems. First, let's take a look at the stock Boxer release. This is the 4.1 beta release. You can see after launching it, I will have to manually mount the C drive. Here I'm using the menu UI, but you can do it using command line, which is even more cumbersome. Then if we just close the prompt window, it crashed. With my fork, if you launch Boxer and go to preferences, now you have a place to type in all the commands you want to launch automatically when you open up a DOS prompt. Here I have commands to mount the C drive. Go to the C drive and run the auto exact script on the C drive. Let's go back to the welcome window. If we launch a DOS prompt, you can see C drive is mounted. And if we check the path environment variable, we can see that it has been correctly populated as part of the auto exact script of the C drive. Closing the window also doesn't crash Boxer anymore. I will put a link to the release in the video description. In most cases, you will only need to download the first zip file, which contains a universal binary for Intel and Apple Silicon. The DSIM file is only used for debugging purposes. So here you have it, a very quick update on Boxer. I hope you like these minor enhancements to Boxer. Subscribe to the channel for future contents. I will see you in the next video.